If you're from Frederick County, you probably heard of Ballinger Creek Park, Tuscarora High School, and the Westview Promenade. But all these places and more are connected with the Ballinger Creek Trail. The inspiration for Ballinger Creek was to was connect a lot of the housing areas. And we want to connect people where they live to the businesses that are local and also the schools that are nearby as well. Frederick County Parks and Recreation created a master plan for the trail back in 2000. And a decade later, the first section of the trail was constructed. The trail was officially completed in late fall of 2020. When the Boundary Creek Trail master plan was completed, we got a lot of input from local community and some businesses in order to how they would best serve them and serve the community. Um, we always listen to the public the first section of the Boundary Creek Trail was completed in 2010 by a housing developer. This is the Westview South section of the trail. The next section of trail that was completed was a county funded section, which we call section three of the Kingsbrook area. Funding from this was assisted by a federal grant that paid for up to 80% of the construction costs. The next section of trail was completed was the advisor court section, which is section four that actually linked both the developer Section 5, Westview South, with the county completed Kingsbrook section. Then a section was completed to the hotel that's along Bucky's Town Pike. This last year, the section one was completed that's linked Boundary Creek Park to the trail uh, that shares the sidewalk along Boundary Creek Pike. And just two months ago, the Boundary Run developer completed their section of the trail not only does this 4.2 mile trail connect communities to businesses and schools, but it also gives residents and visitors a chance to travel by walking, biking, jogging, etc. to nearby locations without having to go on the main roads. So the trail actually acts as an off-road trail. That way people can actually go across major intersections, particularly New Design Road and Executive Way but they go underneath those roadways so they don't have to cross any busy roads in order to do so. Nowadays, people are trying to get some fresh air and exercise. Being isolated can take a toll on the mind and body, but this trail gives people the opportunity to stay active and see some beautiful scenery at the same time. The trail also has additional amenities as well. People enjoy the Boundary Creek Trail for a wide variety of things, particularly hiking, biking, rollerblading, uh, anything that's non-motorized, um, people definitely enjoy the area. But it's great for the people that are interested in exercising, fitness. People walking along the Boundary Creek Trail can see a lot of uh, natural beauty within our park system. As they walk along the, the Boundary Creek Corridor, they'll see a lot of wildlife, particularly deer, some uh, birds of different kind of species that would enjoy the creek beds and that habitat that's in there. We do have a, a number of uh, bicycle repair stations. Um, these consist of a air pump in case you need air for your tires, but also cabled in tools in case you need to make adjustments on your bike. So we accounted for that as well. Parks and Recreation will maintain the trail for the years to come so that residents and visitors of Frederick County can always enjoy the Ballinger Creek Trail. Uh, we, we hope the public comes out and enjoys Boundary Trail and look forward to hearing how people enjoy the trail itself.